This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Kansas reported the second highest pheasant harvest among states in 2017, and Kansas will still have one of the best pheasant populations in the country this fall. Pheasant hunting in Kansas should be fair to locally good this year. Pheasant densities had been slowly recovering from 2013 to 2016, with a few areas reaching relatively high densities. A late 2017 spring blizzard, remember that one, folks, in western Kansas, reduced nesting success and resulted in a decline in the 2018 pheasant crow survey. Winter precipitation was limited this year, too, resulting in short wheat and concern for nesting prospects. Heavy spring and summer showers greatly improved vegetative cover for nesting, though, but also limited nest success. Conditions shifted peak pheasant hatch later into June and July. While wheat harvest was delayed, which typically benefits the pheasant production, the short wheat limited its usefulness for nesting. Roadside counts indicate a below average pheasant population this year. The combination of heavy cover and the later peak hatch may have reduced the number of detectable birds on the counts, but generally survey conditions were ideal. The best areas will likely be in the northern half of the Kansas pheasant range, with areas of high densities also found in central and far southwestern regions. Quail. Last fall's Kansas Bob White quail harvest was the highest recorded in the country, finishing just above Texas. And while hunting isn't expected to be quite as good in 2018, Kansas will still have one of the best quail populations in the country. Precipitation patterns observed over the last five years altered vegetation, increasing both the quality and quantity of habitat, allowing for a modern quail boom. While total harvest has remained well below average due to lower hunter participation, the average daily bag has remained at the best levels observed in 20 years. The Bob White Whistle Survey in 2018 showed only a slight decline compared to the 2017's highest values ever recorded from this survey, which began in 1997. Dry weather in the east and wet weather in the west provided optimism for high production and another banner year. Early reports indicated lots of birds along roadsides and throughout wheat fields during harvest. However, observations on the statewide roadside survey were significantly down this year, with only the Osage Cuesta showing improvement. Densities in the easternmost regions are not as high, but all regional indices remain near or above their respective long-term averages. The best opportunities will again be found in the central regions, extending east into the Flint Hills. The Greater Prairie Chicken Kansas is home to greater and lesser prairie chickens. Greater prairie chickens are found primarily in the tall grass and mixed grass prairies that occur in the eastern third and northern half of the state. The southwest prairie chicken unit, where lesser prairie chickens are found, will remain closed to hunting this year. Hunting opportunities will be best in the northern high plains and smoky hill regions this fall, where populations have been increasing or stable. Check out the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism for more information. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in Oakley, Kansas, on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elf they just bagged, or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. 
there's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley.